Hey Internet, Adopted Mike here. In this video, we're going to take a look at this MSI board. This is the H77MA-G43. So we'll take a look at the front of the box here. We are THX True Studio Pro, Ivy Bridge ready, Windows 8 compatible, well, you would certainly hope so, Windows 7 compatible. And we've got some uh, AMD Crossfire capability here. Uh, we support all the core processors on the H77 chipset. One touch overclocking some of the features we have PCI Express Gen 3 if you're using Ivy Bridge. You would be able to take advantage of that. Sandy Bridge doesn't support it, I don't believe. Let's look at the side there and we have some sp uh, specifications here. Third Gen i7, i5, i3, Pentium, Celeron, LGA 1155. Take a look at the back here. We've got some more of MSI's advertising of, of uh, features on the board. We've got an I.O. overview there. And here's some more specifications again. We've got four DIMMs supporting up to 32 gigabytes. We've got two PCI Express slots, one 3 and one 2.0. So we've got, we got support for the HD graphics built into the Sandy Bridge or IV Bridge chip. We've got Crossfire with the two slots. Um, no SLI support. 8 channel audio. We've got Gigabit LAN. we get got 3 SATA 3 gigabits a second. 2 SATA 6 gigabit a second. 10 USB 2.0 and 4 USB 3.0. So there's plenty of connectivity here. And we have two of the little PCI Express slots. Anyway, we'll find all that out real quick here. We'll pop it open, see what's inside. We have a driver disc here. We've got a quick installation guide. Installing for Windows XP notes, so that's interesting. But there are people that still do use Windows XP even on the newer platforms, so that's kind of handy to have it to help through that. And then we have a uh, manual here which covers several different um, um, chipsets. And we have multi-language as well too. So, but it still looks fairly comprehensive even though it's multi-language. English is that many pages. We have a rear I.O. shield of the multi-color variety. So I always love to see this. I, don't really care for those plain Jane silver ones, uh, but yeah, so this is kind of cool, especially in a, uh, a cheaper motherboard, it's kind of cool to see something like that. We have, oh, we've got those little dealies to help hook up the front panel connectors. So you hook up the front panel connectors there, and then this, each of these plugs right into the motherboard, and then you don't have to fiddle around trying to get the, uh, the little tiny wires inside uh, on, when the board's already mounted. We've got some SATA 6 gigabit a second connectors here, which uh, we have one is a straight to straight, or excuse me, no they're not, I'm sorry. One is a straight to 90 and the other is also a straight to 90, so we have two of those. And then we'll take out the board, and then we'll get a closer look at it. Alright, so here's the board out of the bag. We've got the kind of the black and blue look here, which actually looks pretty good in my opinion anyway. So let's take a look at uh, some of the connectors on the board. Down here we've got a front panel audio. We've got a printer port if you uh, should choose to use one. We have two, four, six USB 2.0 headers for the front panel. And then we have the front panel connectors for uh, the lights and the power and reset switch there. Then we moving along here, we have uh, four SATA 3. I don't know if I can get a hold of this. Uh, excuse me, we have four SATA 2 3 gigabit a second and two SATA 3 6 gigabit a second connectors here. So definitely you'd want to put, uh, uh, here we go, yeah, put your SSDs here to unleash extreme performance. We've got a front panel USB 3.0 header there. 24 pin power moving around there. I haven't seen a whole lot for fan headers yet is one. Um, 
But here we have our DIMM slots for up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Spin it around, upside down we have a CPU 4 pin fan header. We've got a 4 pin CPU uh, power. And we have some decent heat sinks. Uh, they're actually better than having none. So I don't, uh, yeah, I do like to see any, uh, anything like that I do. Just to make the board, hopefully make the board last a little longer anyway. We have a buzzer or a PC speaker right there, which is kind of an odd place to have it, but um, yeah, so it's there should you um, like it or not. And then uh, what do we have here? We've got a COM port there, and then we've got a trusted, uh, or excuse me, TPM module. And there's our Crossfire logo. Obviously we have our socket up. Oh, there's another fan header, a 4-pin system fan too. So interestingly enough, I did only see the two fan headers, but uh, anyway, back to that, there's our socket 1155 with its cover. Now, we have our PCI Express 3.0 slot there. Let me just kind of zoom in a little bit and go, go over that real quick. So what ends up is we have the PCI Express 3.0 up top, and that is a by 16 and then this one is a PCI Express 2.0 which is only going to be a by 4 so you need to uh, think about that if you're doing anything in this particular slot that you're only going to have electrically by 4 then we have two by 1's so that kind of will round out the expansion slots we'll take a look at the rear I.O. up close we've got PS2 ports a keyboard and mouse there's our gigabit ethernet that we talked about four USB 2.0, three, or excuse me, two USB 3.0, VGA, DVI connectors for the onboard graphics if your processor supports that, and then the uh, multi-channel audio out. So anyway, that wraps up my unboxing and quick look at the MSI H77 MA-G43 motherboard. Again, we are socket 1155 Intel motherboard. And as always, thank you for watching.